Welcome to episode 10 of the Automation Podcast, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today on the show we'll be reviewing 2013 and our plans for 2014 at the Insights in Automation websites. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody had a safe and happy holiday season. We're now into the new year. It's 2014, and with the new year... It's always a good time to sit back and look at what happened in the previous year to reflect on it and to give you a sense of what you've accomplished. So here at InsightsAndAutomation.com, in 2013, we launched a total of four websites, starting out with our automation blog that was originally located at our homepage and main site, InsightsAndAutomation.com. Then in October, we relocated our blog to its own domain, www.theautomationblog.com. And through the end of 2013, we posted a total of over 100 automation blogs addressing today's challenges in automation and using automation products. In 2013, we also launched another website, theautomationpodcast.com. You're listening to a podcast from that site right now. And we published nine total episodes, which you can also find on iTunes, YouTube, and of course at theautomationpodcast.com. Our final launch for 2013 was the AutomationMinute.com, and that's a website dedicated to short video tutorials on using automation products. We launched that site with an 11-part series on installing and using VMware Workstation, and you can see all those episodes at YouTube or at TheAutomationMinute.com. Now, with 2013 behind us, we have several new plans for 2014. First, we plan on continuing what we already started last year. We plan to continue to bring you a couple of new blogs at theautomationblog.com each week. And we also plan on bringing you one new podcast each week for those people who find it easier to consume audio content. And we also plan on bringing you a new video every week at theautomationminute.com, which you can also find on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash insights in automation. Now, to keep track of all of our weekly content, our goal is going to be to publish a daily update at insightsandautomation.com. So if you're a daily reader, you can just go to insightsandautomation.com and you'll see a link to that day's content, whether it's a blog, a podcast, or a video. And for the people who do most of their web browsing on the weekend, we're also going to do a weekly roll-up at insightsandautomation.com that'll link to all the week's content and will be titled, This Week's Insights. Well, we hope all these changes will help make our content easier to find and access in 2014. And while these aren't all the changes we plan on making this year, it's enough to definitely keep us busy for the foreseeable future. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Podcast. If you have any questions, comments, or corrections, please don't hesitate to share them with us by replying to this episode's blog post at theautomationpodcast.com, which can also be found with our short URL, link to tap, that's L-I-N-K, T-O-T-A-P dot com. And you can always stay up to date with all the Insights websites at insightsandautomation.com or by connecting with me on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, where I'm known as Mr. Sean Tierney. Before we go, let's take a look at what's coming up on our next podcast. Tune in for episode 11 next week when we discuss how to get manuals for Alan Bradley and Rockwell Automation products. Well, that's it for episode 10 of the Automation Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Tierney, and until next time, peace.